Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here, and in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at time remapping and speed changes in general inside of Adobe After Effects. Here's an example of a time remap. In this shot, we speed up to our character's face, we hold on him in slow motion, and then we speed up to the next person, and we hold on him in slow motion, and then speed away again. Let's go ahead and take a look at this particular example. Um, what I have here is some footage. Um, as you can see, this is, my, uh, this is my wannabe 300 treatment. Um, that I was just playing with. But anyway, I'm going to take this footage, drag it into a composition, and basically what you see here is just a regular speed clip. Everyone, um, everyone gets focused on, but instead I want to kind of zoom up to his face, slow down, zoom up to the next guy here, slow down, etc. So what I want to do is enable time remapping. So I'm going to right click on the footage, choose time, enable time remapping. And what this does is creates a new effect parameter and sets a keyframe at frame zero and a keyframe at the last frame. So what I want to do is go through to the points that are important. So right here when we get up to his face, I'm going to set a keyframe move forward to just before he's done being seen set a keyframe so at this range between these two keyframes I want to slow it down in a minute but for now let's go up to the next shot so about right here set a keyframe it's a little shorter but we'll set another keyframe so his close up and then the rest of it can just uh, go on as fast as we want. So now in between these two ranges we want the speed to be slow and in between everything else we want it to be fast. Now you have to be careful when you're moving these around because if you move this a little bit then you're gonna screw up the timing between this whole section. So for now we'll just take two at a time and drag it in so now it goes really fast comes up on him goes real time because we haven't separated these two keyframes, so it's going to play real time. Then we can speed up the gap here, speed up, and then back to real time here. And then if we take this last one and move it in close, it'll go really fast again. So to play back what I just did, something like this. So a little shaky, a little crazy. Um, what we want to do is instead between these two gaps where we focus on our character between here and here we want to spread the gap out so I'm going to kind of double it and then for this one probably even you know quadruple it so that he, it goes slow for a long time so here's just uh, what it looks like right now It's a little choppy because there are only 24 frames per second, so it's going to kind of duplicate frames. Well, we can also turn on frame blending for the layer and for the comp, and it will blend the layers together, creating a pretty wild effect when the speed is at a very high rate. But let's go ahead and take a look at this anyway. Okay, so let's play it back. Okay, so it's a little crazy, kind of like a dream sequence because the frames are being blended together. Um, not a terrible way to do things, but, you know, might not be the best way to do it. Now, in After Effects 7, there's a new feature called Pixel Motion. And what it allows you to do is interpolate intermediate frames so that you get whole frames that are created from two whole real frames. Does that make sense? Think about it, eh, what the heck, I'm just going to show you. On the frame blending switch, it's got kind of a draft looking line. Well, if you click it again, that turns on pixel motion. So if you see the difference between nothing, that's the original frame being duplicated. Frame blending, which is blending the frames together. 
and pixel motion. Now pixel motion does a really good job. Let's go ahead and play it back right now with pixel motion. So using the pixel motion is the way I actually did it in the original example um, where the clip slows down and speeds up. So it is very smooth and each frame, if I go through here frame by frame, is a unique frame generated from you know, the whole frames from the original footage. Another way to move keyframes around, like I like the speed but I need the clip to be a little bit longer. Well if you select all of the keyframes, hold down Alt and drag the last keyframe, you can stretch them out while maintaining the relative position to one another. So as you can see, um, they kind of stretch out together. So that's kind of a cool thing if you're trying to slow slow things down or match time or what have you. So anyway, that's kind of time remapping. Um, now, now let's go take a look at another example. I have this uh, ink drop from the Riot Gear DVD collection. It's uh, actually 60 frames per second um, playing back at 24 frames per second. So that will allow us to do some pretty cool things. So if I right click and choose time, enable time remapping, I can go to say like almost when the whole thing is completely created. So like around here, set a keyframe for the time remap and then take these two keyframes by selecting them and bring them in closer. So now it'll go really fast and then slow down. And if we control click on this middle keyframe, it'll go really fast and gradually slow down. And if we stretch these two keyframes out, it'll now even slow down more than the original clip. So let's go ahead and preview that. Okay, so pretty cool. Um, we can also go into the graph editor and make this gradual. So if you select it and just kind of play around with this curve, this is the speed. You know, this is the rate in which the uh, frames are being played back, essentially. So you can kind of adjust it to make it smoother from a fast to a slow. So you can kind of see from the animation now as it really slows into that, you know, slow motion. And um, I've seen it, it can actually, you can actually slow into a still frame. So if I delete this last keyframe and uh, bring up the curve, I can basically slow this into a stop. So if, I, if this line is going perfectly straight, what that means is that it no longer is playing the frames back at a fast speed. So check this out. Very cool effect. Um, at the end of the movie Cinderella Man, they go from the live action movie and it slows to a still frame of a newspaper clipping, um, which is a very cool effect. Now, if I turn on frame blending, I should really get a nice slow to stop animation. So if I play this back, you should see it kind of really slow to a nice stop. And then you could, you know, do your newspaper clipping after it. You can also slow this animation down by dragging it out. And um, that's, uh, that's time remapping. Now, let's go and take this same ink drop, shut off time remapping, and let's examine some other ways you can perform speed changes. I can right click, choose time, time stretch. I can time reverse the layer so it plays backwards. And I can also make a freeze frame. If I time stretch the layer, I can stretch it for a factor of 200%, meaning 200% the length of the original file. So if it's 10 seconds, 200% makes it 20 seconds. You can also give it a specific duration of frames and the speed will automatically be calculated in percentage. You can change what gets held, the layer end point, the current frame, so where your current time indicator is, or the layer out point. Um, if I set it to 10%, this whole clip will play back um, relatively fast. compared to the original. So that's a really good way to work with it. Now if I go and change the time stretch back to 100%, another way to do speed changes is effect, time, time warp. 
And this Time Warp is a very unique plugin and it's very powerful, but you do have to understand how it works. Now, right now it's set to a speed of 50%. So if I play this back, it's gonna interpolate the speed using pixel motion and meaning each frame will be unique instead of frame blended like you saw earlier where they kind of blend together. Um, only problem is on this clip, we can only see half of the video because its speed is at 50%. Now if we set it to 100%, we'll see the end of the video at the end of this clip. But if you set it to 50%, it gets cut off. And that's just the way After Effects uh, works as far as the architecture. So the solution is to pre-compose this layer. So if I choose layer, pre-compose, I want to leave all the attributes in this comp. So leave this here and let the effect be applied to it, but apply it to a composition of the footage being inside. What this allows us to do is open this composition up by alt double clicking. And then if we go to the composition settings for this comp, we can make the duration 1200 or twice the length of the original. And although it's just going to be blank, after the clip, this allows us a placeholder for the ink to be extended beyond, um, beyond the point when it gets cut off from the time warp. So if I go to the composition settings again, change the frame rate to 1200, um, you'll see my clip gets cut off here, but I can extend it. Now if I disable the time warp effect and go past a certain point, it cuts off and all I see is blank frames. But if my time warp effect is on at 50%, I now have the room to stretch out beyond what I was doing before. So if you change your speed to 25%, you'd want your pre-comp settings to be four times the length of the original clip. So instead of 1200, you maybe want it 2400 frames. And then when I go back in here, also change my composition settings to 2400 frames you know or seconds you can calculate it that way and that way there's room for it to stretch out play around with the uh, settings in here you know when you're working you may want to use frame mix which is a fancy word for frame blending and uh, that will be you know that'll get you faster previews while you're working and then pixel motion for your final render um, this is a really great way to also do the speed start to stop. So if I set a keyframe at speed for 100% at this point, move forward, say right here, uh, I don't know, just move forward a little bit and change the speed to 0%. Then if I play this back, you see it basically slows to a stop and because we're using pixel motion it's interpolating the frames one for one so that's how the speed change works and um, hope you understand kind of the limitations and the workarounds to this great effect oh one other thing um, I'll go ahead and delete this if you're working in After Effects 6.5 and you want to create a still frame just choose time enable time remapping set a keyframe for the point in time where you want it to freeze and then just delete the front and end keyframes and then you have a still frame. Um, one thing you can't, this only works in After Effects, you can't actually change your own life around using the time remap feature so I thought that'd be important to point out. Okay well I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, my time is up. Get it? <laughs> my, my time. Anyway. Of course, you can find me in the Creative Cow After Effects forum or come visit my website, videocopilot.net, and thanks for watching.